Well, hello folks. I'm back with the tutorial on Russian Senate as promised. Here it is. This piece, I have another piece around here, so here's another one. This is in two millimeter. This is in four and a half millimeter. Obviously way larger. The four and a half millimeter ends up being 13 millimeters thick. So it is some sub substantial weave. Nevertheless, uh, the first thing I want to say is at the end of the last video, I made the statement that Frayed Knots was Skip Hips website. Well, that's wrong. It's Vince Brennan's. So my apology to Vince, my apology to every one of you for being inaccurate. <clears throat> both of those are very, both of those guys are very skilled knot tires and frame makers. So, but check out Frayed Knots. I don't know Vince, but uh, a friend of mine who is an International Guild of Knot Tires member uh, got in touch with me and corrected me on that, and I'm glad he did. I don't think being inaccurate. So onward. The following video is going to give you a tutorial with every step and everything that I know of to tie this pretty easily. I mean, it's, it's not a really difficult thing to tie, but it is difficult to set up. A couple of rules. You have to have a minimum, according to the Bosun's Mate 3 and 2 for the U.S. Navy, a minimum of 16 strands for it to form up and look right. This is 20 and it has to be in increments or divisible by four. So from 16 to 20 to 24 and so on for it to work, period. It has to be divisible by four. Um, and that's about it. I'll tell you everything else in the actual tutorial video. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, subscribe, like, and share. Talk to you guys soon. Okay, let's tie some Russian Senate. I am sure that I just went over some of the details into an introduction. And I'm gonna hit it again, it's worth going over. So, a couple of things you need. Obviously a clamp, because that's a lot of line, and you need to clamp it. The lines that you use, according to the Bosun's Mate 3 and 2, is you should use at least 16 strands for this to form up looking nice. Now this is two millimeter line. I'm showing this to you in number 120 line, which is uh, Nautical USA's number 120, which is a four and a half millimeter line. I think it'll be easier to look at. So that's why I chose this. It also tells you, you need to be able to secure this right hand line in a cleat. Well, you know, it's thinking one of these. I tried this. And I actually had this mounted to this board. Didn't work with a darn. I mean, when it started to get shorter, so as I got to, toward the end, it was a real pain. So um, I had selected this little cam cleat that I had laying around from one of my old boats. So there's that. You start off with a line that is going to be the working end. It's always gonna be the far left line. You also need something to weave in between the lines. And I was gonna use one of my little blue double-ended knitting needles, but this is gonna be better. It's a chopstick. And I whittled it a little bit on the end so that it's, it's gonna weave through here better. So I'm gonna give this a run. You always start two, I mean over two, right? Under two. Over two, under two, over two, under two, over two, under two, and you will always end up over two. You're gonna do that every time. Then you're gonna read this through. I've never done this with a line this size. Should be interesting. So now what's gonna happen? All right, we've got one line through pull it up a bit, cinch it up, and then guess what happens with this? This one goes over that. Then this one, the beginning working end, now gets cleated. This needs to get tucked in down here. And by the way, 
This is something that I got from uh, Frayed Knots Tutorial, which, much to my embarrassment, is not uh, Skip Hips. It's Vince Brennan. My apologies, Vince. So that one gets tucked in that was here, and now you need another working line. So there it is. Pull the next one out. Pull this out. And what did we say? Over two. So over two, under two. Over two, under two, over two, under two, over two, under two, over two. And run it through. There's. Thank you, Addison. You're a good boy. All right, and then let's cinch that up some. I'm gonna hold on to these and give it a little yank. And remember, the cleated one goes over the one you just finished running through. And give her a cleat and secure that. You can run this up there a little bit, give them a tug. The reason that this is here, this little clamp with the rubber bands on it, that just made it out of a couple pieces of wood laying around, is you must, you must keep these in line. And if you just had them dangling loosely, I don't know how you possibly could. I just don't know how you would do it. So let's run this through here. And I'm gonna do this, I'm certainly not gonna tie feet of it for you, but I'm going to tie it enough so that we can easily see how this weave lays in, because it is really a good looking, it's a really good looking center. All right, here we go. Also, if you go down here where these are all straight, instead of up here where it's kind of jumbled, a lot easier. Over two, whoops. Over two, under two, come on. Over two, under two. I have think I have encroaching birds. They're wandering around. And I'll probably pause the video and check on that. Chopsticks away. Over two, under two, over two, under two, over two, under two, over two, under two, over two. Always end up starting over two, ending over two. If you end up with some different number than that, you did it wrong. As you can see, it's a little bit <laughs> complicated to get this set up because it takes there's some requirements to get it set up right. But once you do it, you're just doing this every time. Run to the same thing, and you'll see it starts to bunch in. That's gonna make it into that really cool looking Russian Senate look. So let's get that yank, start to cinch together and get that look. I have never really, um, I mean, I had maybe, maybe seen a picture of Russian Senate before. I got a request, whoever you are out there, I don't know your name, you're a subscriber to my channel that requested that I do this. I do not know you by name, but uh, thanks for asking because uh, I had no idea what this was. But now that I've tied a couple of, well, a few different feet of it, you know, I guess man, two feet of this, two feet of that kind of thing. Whoops, wait a minute, did I do it wrong? Nope, two over two, there we go, all right. And run it through. And then over this, give it a yank. I have escaping birds. Sorry guys, hold on. Had to stop. 
not once, but twice, to corral to the two bird wrecking crew, as I call them. All right, where was that? This goes over here. We're good on that. Let's push that up just a little bit. I'm sliding this down a little bit. So once again, that I can continue reaving this through with a nice straight section. So that's gonna come out. I've already pulled this over it. So we're going down here again. And this will kind of walk to the right as we're doing this. So I'm gonna to need to slide this over just a smidge and it slides over. Keep them straight, get my tug. And pull this one out for our working end. And back to the chopstick, over two. All right. Through we go. This is actually a lot easier to tie than with the two millimeter that I started with on the left. I actually had, had done a video, a series of videos on this. And then after I looked over it, I was like, eh, it's kind of hard to see. Oliver, we don't need your commentary, buddy. You're a large green bird, but we do not need your two cents. Got you sitting close over here, so I thought that, that would feel like you were participating. Maybe not. He's actually one of them. I can't say it. A C R A C K E R. They know the word. small child having birds they uh, are smart enough to know the words you're saying for especially for the treats I shouldn't have even said that word anyway it is what it is they're good little friends but you see doesn't that look cool um, it's pretty thick that is pretty doggone thick. So we will see if this is feasibly usable on a frame. Don't know. Somewhere. I'm gonna have to do some build up on different areas to get that to work right. I'm gonna run through this here a couple more times and um, feel free to ask questions if I missed anything. I hope I didn't. Um, I was glad to have two different written tutorials to verify that there wasn't any sort of discrepancy or anything. Uh, the Bosun's Mate 3 and 2 does not talk about this, that's for sure. It's just like they're dangling. I don't know how you would do it. I mean, you just have to be a really, well, you Bosun's Mates out there probably are laughing at me. That's easy. Kinda is. Once you get this set up, if you're using a cleat and, and you can keep them straight at the bottom, you're in good shape. Takes a little while. Some take longer than others. This one takes a little while to get set up and it is a little bit cumbersome because of the cleating and having to pull, push that one through and pull this one out and all that. But for how cool it looks, I think it's worth it. I most certainly would not have discovered this, or I mean, I probably would eventually, until somebody uh, said, hey, tell us a person said it. All right, back is that. I'm glad you asked. Thanks again.
We'll take one more run through here and then I think, got it, right? Got it? Pretty cool. I like it. I started out here with four feet of line and hoping that that, based on the shrinkage or the shortenage of time from my first try with the smaller line, how much I would lose. I'm trying to get about 35 inches of this. So, excuse me, yeah, 25 inches of this. But might be a little more, but you, you lose some here and you lose some at the end. So there's that. You lose some length with pretty much any Senate, but uh, done, right? I can keep going and I will keep going and show you the finished product at the end of the video. Thanks. So here's a side note that I thought was worth bringing up. I've tied a constrictor knot here to cinch this up so that, well, I was gonna do it at the end anyway, but what I like to do to keep myself from being halfway across the room before I, uh, you know, when I'm tying it, I like to be able to tie it just right here, sitting kind of at the desk, you know, at the, at the counter at my workbench and stay that close to it. So I can't do it with one hand, but yeah, almost impossible, but I pull this up so that I've got, you know, the same arrangement between me and what I'm tying. Way easier, way better. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed that. One last thing that I probably should have put first. I now have a sponsor for the channel by the name of Nautical USA. You may know them, but if you don't, and you want to get some super high quality hard laid cotton line in a variety of different sizes, Dan Noel is your guy. Uh, he's offering a 10% discount with the discount code TREVETT, my last name, USA. T-R-E-V-V-E-T-T-U-S-A in the uh, discount code block when you finish your order and get a 10% discount. Enjoy, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.